everybody, Stephen here, and today I have a new product from Recover Fun. These are blood flow restriction air cuffs. So they reached out to me. I've done a review for their massage gun here. This thing is phenomenal. I'll put a link for this video at the end of this and then in the description as well. I use this a ton at my training studio that I have here, and I've actually had a bunch of clients that have bought this as well. Really, really enjoyed this massage gun, but uh, they reached out to me. They said, hey, we have a new product. And I uh, just want to see if I would do an unboxing video of this and give my thoughts. So this is the unboxing video, but I'm going to actually sit with these for a little bit. I'm going to train with them and then eventually I'll, I'll do a review as well to give my thoughts. So these are blood flow restriction air cuffs here. And for anybody that's seen the bands that people put around their biceps, essentially in restricting blood flow to the muscles that you're training, you're trying to essentially create a more anaerobic environment in the muscle and your body uses anaerobic metabolism when you're training, especially when you're strength training, just because you're not purely running off of oxygen, you're actually running off of that and you're switching into the anaerobic metabolism and using the different mechanisms that feed into that so that you can still push that weight. Because if you, I always think of something one of my professors said in, in college, which was if we had to run off of pure oxygen, and let's say a tiger is chasing us, we wouldn't get very far. So your body goes from pure oxygen and then it has to click into that anaerobic metabolism so that you can still move beyond that, right? And we get the buildup of lactic acid as a byproduct and all these other things that happen with that. But let's go ahead and unbox this thing. So in the bag, let's see here. So, you have the air cuffs here. Looks like you get two of them. Oh, these are big. So that, if you have a big leg, that should still fit around your big leg. So you can use these mainly on your arms and your legs, right? So we have that, and then we have our little air pump here. And this looks like what you would see when somebody's taking your blood pressure, right? It's almost like a blood pressure cuff with this. So let's put this, well, let me look at the manual really quick, just to make sure I do this right. Yeah, big thing is gonna be legs and biceps, which is what they say here. Um, how you turn the valve is gonna be deflate or inflate. It is waterproof material. Very, very cool. All right, so let's try this out. The manual looks really, really good, by the way. So they did a, a good job on that. So for this, it says it's supposed to stimulate type two fast twitch muscle fibers. It's supposed to increase local growth hormone and IGF-1 levels by 200 to 300%. Um, and more rapid accumulation of metabolic byproducts, such as lactic enhanced stimulation of muscle growth synthesis by 45 to 55%, greater potential for growth and development with exercise. So what I will say with that is anytime I see that in the manual and I don't see it here, I do wanna see a link to the studies. If you're gonna put stuff like that, I wanna see the studies that are with that. So I'm gonna reach out and see where they're getting that information, because I think that's important versus just saying, uh, those things and then taking it at face value So with this though, let's get this thing going here So Here I think the harder part is just gonna be getting these things set up my arms want to do something weird right there Let's try this out. Nice, it clicks when you actually put that all the way in. Very much feels like um, 
you're getting your uh, blood pressure read. I'm also curious to see that it's crazy tight. So, I mean, you get to adjust right here. And then from there, so big thing with this is I'm gonna do push-ups, curls, anything like that. That was way too much. Should be able to still bend my arm. <laughs> so I think with this, you're still gonna have a learning curve, right? With this, the placement, things like that. Let's see how this just pops off. You push the little button here, that was super easy. I'm just gonna do it on the one side for right now. But essentially the notion would be you can feel that restriction when I'm doing push-ups. I'm obviously gonna feel it on curls. Like I feel that the most. The test there would be like curls, I would probably back this out just a little bit. The push-up felt really good, right, with that. Once I'm done, click that in. to go and you feel that rush of blood just like when you're done getting your blood pressure taken I think everybody's gonna be different so I'd be curious to see and here it is right here it says guidelines as a guide upper limb pressure may be between 100 and 220 um, mm HG what is that is that millimoles I haven't had to deal with that in so long um, but you have that, and then lower limb pressure maybe between 150 and 250. But it says here that's completely individual. Pressure should feel a seven, seven slash 10 in intensity relative to your maximum tolerable pressure. Wear the Recover Fun air cuff continuously for between 10 to 30 minutes. Um, you need to decrease pressure if you're feeling um, sensation of numbness, pins and needles, uncomfortable tingling, and severe discomfort. So and with this too, one of the interesting things is, is using this at home where I'm, I'm actually just essentially layering on another factor with my workout. Or, most of us, a lot of gyms here are just now opening up, but if you're in a situation where you are gonna be working from home, how can I still kind of simulate that level of intensity at my house? I know a lot of people are gonna buy equipment, you're still gonna use that equipment, but very few people are gonna have, even what I have here, right, which is a small training studio, but like a full rack with hundreds of pounds of weight and barbells and trap bars and, slant and all these other things, so if you're, in that type of situation, but I still want to mimic that, this can be a good option. Because I could still use this, layer on a band, use this with band push-ups. And it's just another thing that I'm layering on to create the level of um, load, restriction, intensity, whatever I need for my workout. So the, the interesting thing that I'll be very, very curious to see is utilizing this for one of my own workouts, like a good 10 to 30 minute workout, um, and using it for the whole workout to see how I feel at the end in terms of um, being tired, muscle fatigue, all those things compared to if I use weight versus if I just have body weight stuff and I'm not using this at all, because that's another thing to consider with this. I don't know how many people are gonna necessarily take this to the gym with them every time and use this at a gym. This to me really seems like something that I'm gonna use at the house because I don't have a ton of equipment. Um, I'm not saying I wouldn't necessarily take these to a gym. It would probably look weird to some people if I weren't getting these out um, versus using the bands, right? But I think some people would probably still use these um, and take these to the gym to actually work out, especially if I'm doing the bicep stuff. We already know that, but put them around my legs doing leg press and things like that to try and restrict some of that blood flow. I will say you need to be very cautious with things like that too. Too much restriction in the legs is gonna cause the things that they're talking about here, right? You may feel lightheaded or dizzy or something like that. Um, but I also wanna be careful when I'm snapping these out and all that blood is rushing back to my head as well. So uh, in terms of just the build quality for what I'm feeling here, these do feel very solid. I mean, this massage gun is very solid. Everything feels solid about this as well. 
Really cool bag that it comes with too. Everything's gonna fit in here. Um, and now I can throw this in my gym bag as well, or if I'm just gonna take this. And I think for a lot of people that travel, that's something that I've talked about before also. How do I mimic weight and load when I'm gonna be traveling and the hotel that I'm at doesn't have equipment? This can be another option for you, right? You are still gonna be doing push-ups and squats and all those things in your hotel room, but maybe we can add that extra layer of intensity to this and we can essentially get a little bit more out of our workouts than if we didn't have anything at all. So the fact that it comes with a bag is gonna help. Now it's not a big thing that you're carrying around and I could probably throw a couple bands in here too. Now I have a lot of stuff that I need just for a good, uh, no major equipment workout that I can do in a hotel room or like I said, at the house. So that is gonna be it for this unboxing video. Um, initial impression is I, I definitely do need to work with these a little bit more just to feel them out. Um, but everything, like I said, about this feels quality. I don't think this is gonna be something that's gonna break incredibly easy unless you are just messing around with it and not being cautious when you're getting everything set up. But it is something that you do have to get set up. So as long as you're willing to spend the first couple minutes, get that set up, do what you need to do and then move on, I don't think there's gonna be a problem with it. But for some people that are already trying to be go, 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 this may be something that they don't want to mess with because it's just something that they do have to spend time getting set up. But uh, I'm going to spend more time with this and then I will actually get a review for this in the next couple weeks. Once I, like I said, I do like to spend time with these products before I just give a review and I've only spent like an hour with it. So that is going to be it for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit this 